Hey Wall. It's been when to come back to another video. I know you guys have seen my clock up there. Um, if you notice, it's been on 1029 uh, since 1029. And I don't know if I told you guys, but the significance of that is because that was the first day I started doing uh, YouTube videos. Uh, October 29th. So I think it's going on seven months now, I think. So, so I really appreciate you guys uh, definitely joining me in the garden family and uh, watching and subscribing and, and giving me your time. You know, so I really appreciate that. Fam, tonight I was just uh, sitting up with Max and, uh, you know, it's so funny. I did a video earlier there about fake news, right? And uh, <laughs> I'm sitting here and they were doing a story about, you know, here in Texas, family, uh, Whataburger is a Texas, uh, I guess it's originated here in Texas, Whataburger, actually in the South Texas area, which Corpus Christi area, right down here in the coastal region. And apparently, uh, it's going to be uh, bought out by another state. I think some state of the Midwest, Wisconsin, Ohio, something like that. So, right? But it ain't like there's no other hamburger joints here in the United States or here in Texas. And I say that to say this. You know, J.J. Wide, he's a football player here in Houston, Texas. And the only reason I'm even mentioning the cat, because I thought it was interesting that he has this campaign going where he's trying to get people to chip in and donate so that, you know, that we can keep Whataburger here in Texas. All right. Now, J.J. Wide is the same cat that, you know, was the face of the charity, charitable uh, organizations that, you know, collected over like 25 to 30 million dollars uh, during Hurricane Harvey. Now, my question is, who received that money? Because, I mean, Governor Abbott just signed a new uh, bill here recently, and there was the Hurricane Harvey Relief Bill, right? A $2 billion uh, bill. Of course, you know, you, put, you sign in a lot, that's, cool, that's taxes that we're going to be paying. But when I was reading, through the, uh, you know, bill, it was saying how they was developing these different agencies to try to come up with different ways to help those in need during times of hurricanes and whatnot, right? And also to try to establish, you know, studies to better understand why certain areas, you know, flooded than more than others, and well as trying to establish a system where those that was the, that was the most affected, okay, to provide them loans to get them back on their feet. What? Hold up. A two billion dollar Hurricane Harvey bill put into put into action, right? Signed into law. And there's no actual data or tangible evidence to show the number of people that lost their homes, how they're going to be getting the money. I mean, because I thought that's what it's supposed to be all about. Right? When you talk about foreign aid, that money goes to foreign countries to help those in need. Right? It shouldn't be going to some type of bureaucratic uh, system where all these different agencies and focus groups are going to be you know, developed and all these people are going to be getting paid bureaucratically but the money isn't getting to the people on the ground you know because here in the time family there's still a lot of areas that you know dilapidated from uh, the hurricane it's a lot of areas in bad situations still and so when you hear that there's going to be a hurricane bill signed a two billion dollar bill it would have been refreshing to see tangible evidence of those who's actually going to get the money opposed to hearing about all these agencies and organizations that's going to be formed to try to help alleviate what Hurricane Harvey did. No, we don't need that. We need the actual resources to get these people back in their homes and, and, uh, and build up the infrastructure that Hurricane Harvey you know, destroyed, right? And so, J.J. Watt, I hear you about trying to, you know, raise money to keep Whataburger here, which is a fast food joint, but 
no evidence of what uh, that $25, $30 million that you have raised and who got it, you know? I thought that was quite interesting, okay? So I just kind of want to piggyback on that fake news situation. Now, to me, that's just, that's just not real news, you know? And, uh, you know, like I said, when you hear about the huge groups of, of, of immigrants coming to this country from Africa, to me, that's still, that still blows me away, right? So if I just want to come with a quick video about that, like I said, being here in Ace Town, you know, it's still a lot of people that still suffer from that, from uh, that hurricane, and uh, and the, actually the effects of it, and to know that there will be a a bill signed into law, that two billion dollar bill, and you know, I'm gonna do more research and come back with another video because if you know, I can find out those that's gonna benefit from, I'm definitely let you know, all right. So. Well, family, in the meantime, between time, may the most time, sorry to bring you joy. And being one is out of 5,000.